Hello, welcome back to Tail Three Cabins. We've had a good string of uh, nice days here, and uh, we got some rain coming in tomorrow, so I want to try to cut down this big old oak tree before the rain comes in tomorrow. I uh, came across somebody on the road yesterday. I was heading to Home Depot, and uh, this uh, opportunity might help me get rid of this tree all the quicker. So come check it out. Well, I got all my gear here to document and to cut down the tree. I did a little prep work the night before. I got a, a small rope up there using a, a little like bean bag and a small uh, smaller rope and attach it to this larger one. Uh, but the crotch of the tree, I think, is like a perfect wedge, and I'm having trouble getting this uh, rope up and over the hump. Pull back and try again. So we made several attempts. We took the, the rope and actually took the knots out and taped it up with duct tape and that still didn't work. And now uh, we're up on the ladder seeing if I can still get it over the crotch of that tree. See if you can pull it. The tree does have a favorable lean towards the direction that we want to go to. Um, wind is at my back right now, which is also favorable. Um, but you just never can be too careful. It looks like the tree is going to go in the direction we want it. But a little extra insurance doesn't hurt. All right, go. Okay. That was so close. Pull it back. The orange. We managed to get enough of the thicker rope up and around the tree and to tie it off, and then uh, we attached another rope to that to give us a little distance because this is a long tree and the guys on the rope are going to be a little paranoid just how close it might come to them. So our goal is to get it right in between that group and the trees, just dead center. So I mentioned that I was going down the road yesterday and I had an encounter. Well, when I first started thinking about cutting this tree down, I actually put it on Facebook to see if anybody would want decent oak wood for like furniture or something and I would help them tear it down. Um, I put a little price tag on it, but I didn't get any bites or anything. About a week or so ago, I was driving down the road and I saw a timber truck and I thought to myself, man, I should maybe follow this guy and see if maybe he wants the wood. Not so much that I want money for it, but maybe at least this oak would go to the, some furniture making or something like that instead of just being turned into firewood. So I, lo and behold, yesterday I was behind a timber truck and I'm thinking, should I follow this guy, wait to see where he goes? Um, and he ends up slowing down. I don't know if he was lost, but um, I pulled around in front of him and I stopped him and I asked him, I said, what are you doing with the, the load of timber you got back there? And he goes, um, well, it's gonna be uh, firewood. And I said, do you want, do you usually take like decent wood for making furniture, like oak or um, decent trees? He goes, yeah. So I told him what I had and he said, well, I really can't pay you for one tree. We usually don't come out just to, um, all the way one tree. And I said, I really don't want any money for it. It's a decent oak tree. It's red oak. I think it would make some nice wood for somebody who wants to make furniture out of it or something. Um, he gave me his card. I told him I would text him and we'd get the tree down on the ground by about one o'clock and, and let him go from there. I texted him in the morning. He said uh, he'll be in the neighborhood in the afternoon. Uh, I said, do you want us to cut it in any particular length? And he said, no, just um, just leave it and I'll cut it out. So let's get this tree down and hopefully this guy will get some wood out of it. I just want to say there's nothing like having a skilled guy on a chainsaw and two seasoned rope guys, but I guess we'll just make do with what we got. Starting to hear that popping sound.
immediately when I saw that tree split in half like that, I suddenly thought that this guy is probably not going to want to come out and pick this tree up now. So the rope guys were definitely patting themselves on the back saying what great rope guys that they were and I said well I really couldn't tell and I had the headphones on but I could have swore I heard somebody yelling for their mommy and hold me. So I went and texted a couple pictures to this guy with the lumber truck. Um, I called him on the phone and he looked it over and he said he'll still come and, and check it out. My friend Don, one of those great rope guys, wants uh, what he calls a cookie. Uh, a slab of this base here to maybe make a table out of it. So the timber guy said he'd show up around 3 and he actually showed up a little bit earlier which was good because we were just kind of waiting on him. If he didn't want us to cut up any part of the tree then uh, he would take care of that himself. So this guy is out of Amish country, which is about 90 minutes south of us, uh, okay. out of a town called Sugar Creek, and I'm definitely sure that they're going to be able to use some of this oak. And you'll return it in uh, an oak bed and some oak furniture? What's that? You'll bring back some oak furniture? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, if you need us to do anything, let me know. This gentleman said maybe if I had cut it in a different way that it wouldn't have split, but I can't believe that because of the two forks that, that came together and the force of that made it split somewhere in the center of the trunk rather than at the base. kind of notice his uh, front axle is, is pretty deep in a rut there. Um, the ground is kind of soft. That's actually where I cut down a, a good sized tree last year and it was just um, refilled recently. Uh, so I think he's going to have no problem getting out but he does have an interesting way of getting himself out of there without even being behind the steering wheel.
asked him since he had a larger chainsaw than ours, a larger bar, that maybe we could cut out this cookie that Don wants, so he uh, was happy to oblige for us. Now could you put legs on it? <laughs> <laughs> well, he made pretty quick work. He obviously knows what he's doing when it comes to handling this truck and handling the chainsaw. I thank them for coming out and saving my back from having to split all those large pieces of oak. And then we went out by the road just to help him get out and stop some traffic. Should be a pretty heavy table when he gets it all done. Well, all in all, the day went pretty good. Nobody died, nobody got hurt. Um, I got a little bit of a mess to clean up here. Looks like I'm gonna have enough firewood, even with the scraps that were left behind. Having that guy come with the truck did save my back, because I know I'd be splitting a lot of large pieces of oak if he didn't uh, take that stuff away. Hopefully it'll go to good use and maybe make some furniture out of it. I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you enjoy these videos and keep an eye on us. Take care, everybody.